Welcome back, Commanders. We got another awesome Hall of Fame replays. Now we have two infamous players. We have Flamer, which is uh, Veds. Well, I always call him Veds. He is an extremely well-known player. Then at the top, we have Squawk again. I think it's Squawk. I always called him Squawk. It might be Squack or something like that. But anyway, it's a USA versus USA. So this is a very tricky, fast-paced matchup. And both of them going into a barracks and a supply. Very common start of. Now, it's very important to try get oils, map control, vision, and combine all those things with some Humvees strategy center. And looks like Squawk going for a famous drop. So there will generally be a lot of drops. Uh, at least one player normally drops in a UVU. Otherwise, you just go into Humvee spam or capture oils. A few different things that are pretty common. But both of them have gone for the drop. I better zoom out here. So... This is going to be interesting. So both have gone for, <laughs> for the flank drop on the uh, supply, but neither player has one. So Vets is going for the drop. Oh, he's going to, he's put his dozer in there too. So he's got, oh, he's got a Patriot drop. We have Squawk going for the option of barracks, which will help build more MDs to try get more heat onto those uh, Chinooks. But Ved's definitely getting the immediate pressure and being able to... Oh, it looks like his dose is going to go down here. He missed my credit just slightly. Oh, it's, it's still hung in there. Holy cow. Oh, now it's dead. Okay. So this leaves Ved's with a pretty much a very quickly defeated drop onto Squawk. Whereas Squawk here has opted in for more of a cautious long-term game plan here. And he's also looking to capture oil at the top. We do have another Ranger or two. Uh, it looks like possibly, oh, it's just a Chinook going for the supplies there. Just to make use of it. Now, I don't think, okay, it looks like Vets has just figured out that, uh, <laughs> he has Squawk right on his doorstep. Right on this right flank here. Now, Vets has been able to capture the oils on his side. And there is a little bit of a battle going up top here just to see and squawk has won that one whoa squawk has dropped some extra ranges here that was a fantastic little drop there they came out of nowhere and now squawk has been really been able to shut down his barracks so luckily Vets has two barracks but this is going to be very troublesome as he can sort of lock in beds into his own base not leaving him with many options he could try to get some of this supply here, but he does have an oil. So there, there is some income coming his way, but not much. So now it's going to be the classic rifle battle as the players try and uh, get their flashbangs going. Squawk or squack, whatever it is. He's going for another barracks, really trying to trying to hone in the pressure here but he hasn't been building many ranges not having very much of an income here he hasn't been able to capture this oil so the pressure is going to be bar for none bar for nothing i mean as beds has been able to consolidate his ranger force <laughs> but the dose is coming in to run them over <laughs> which is freaking funny because uh that he doesn't really have anything to deal with it just yet he's been building ranges not thinking that a doze is going to be coming in <laughs> Doze is trying to skedaddle, skedaddle out of there just so it doesn't get sniped from this MD. A very funny action right here. So the M ranges are coming in from Squawk as well. But uh, he's going to have to keep his Dozer away. Otherwise, he could lose this little foothold he has into Vet's base. Now, going back to the map, we'll just see if there's anything else of note here. Nothing really else happening. I don't think a wall factory has been built. Nope, so the majority of the action is just consolidated into this one focal point of Ved's base. He's really getting hammered here by Squaw. Rangers are just putting in flashbang action, uh, trying to get as much damage as they can where they can. And it's going to be a very tricky because uh, he's only operating. Oh, he did get a second barrack, so that will really help him in this effort to try push back Squaw. Now, what Squawk should be doing is taking this oil. He has captured it. Looks like he's going to drop. Oh, he's done a nice drop onto this other oil to try get a foothold on uh, the resources, which will help him spam more. And, oh, Squawk has gone for a very, very aggressive war factory here, trying to 
he's going to try get his uh, rock Vs or his, his Humvees with MDs and ranges inside right on the doorstep of Vets base. Now, I don't think Vets is going to have a bar of this, but we'll see. He's going to have to make sure he has some missile defenders or some, some sort of thing to take out the Humvees and ambulances that will be coming out. Now, it might be a good idea to build an ambulance first off, but we'll see what he opts in for. Quick look at the map. Now, there is some action going in. So, Vets has been able to build a, it's a supply center there. So, now he has two. And he's going to have to get that shut down very quickly. Squawk has a helicopter. He looks like he's going in for a drop or something onto the other side. Yes, he is. So, these MDs will chew, absolutely chew up. Uh, what is he doing? He's, got, <laughs> he's done a drop. A ranger drop right here onto Squawk. That's a lot of micro, but uh, he's, it's just giving him a little bit more time. Now, the MDs are going to be coming and hunting these Hummers like nothing else, but they will have to be guarded by the Rangers. Otherwise, it'll be bar for none. Nothing will happen. Won't be able to gain any ground. But you can see here, Veds is slowly being able to push and make quite a lot of ground here, and there has not been enough Rangers coming out of these barracks. Veds really, really has a steamroll here. He has a huge opportunity to push Squawk back into his base, back where he belongs, over to his side of the map. They're just annihilating everything that's coming out of his barracks. Is, and the MDs are powering through. Brilliant effort here by Veds, just smashing through this front line of barracks and wall factory from Squawk. It looks like Squawk is going to lose all of this. Squawk has to start thinking about what is he going to do now. Possibly a... General, and he has next to attack. no money. So and Vets has really gotten a foothold here. Having this extra supply is really giving him the funds he needs to push all this back. He's even able to take down this war factory, which is going to be going down in any moment. Maybe a force fire here would help just to clean down some of the damage a bit faster. And the war factory is gone down. It does leave four ranges, five ranges, which are going to actually work quite well in Squawk's favor to take out all these infantry. Oh, <laughs> Squawk has a sniper already. Oh, shit, man. And he's got a Humvee. He is going to clean this up. So the Vets is going to have to be very cautious here. He needs to get another war factory. He only has one dozer left, which is up on the flank here. And I think... Squawk probably can see this. Squawk can see it. So he could do a drop. If he did a drop on this dozer, the game would be over. But obviously in the heat of the moment, you never realize, but we have the champion Humvee with snipers in it. There is nothing he can do here. Now he needs to get quick onto this base and destroy it as quick as possible. Maybe go for the capture because uh, it's going to be a little while before Squawk can get into here and actually, I mean, before Vets can get anything out of his war factory. Now, just having a quick gaze at the map. Nothing much happening on this side now. Lots of supplies going up. And yes, he has gone for opted in for the capture. It's a very nice touch. MD's putting in some work on the Chinooks here. Putting pressure on this mid is really going to box Vets in. Now, Vance is very much one of the most distinguished players along with Squawk in terms of clan walls and what he achieved in his general's career. Very top tier player, was named one of the best in uh, quite a few top 20, top 50 player ladder, um, what would you call them, top 50 player submissions that people would write up. But uh, now he also has a sniper and he's able to clean up Everything here. So there's not much Squawk can do with this. He's only got one supply as well. One oil and a war factory. So now it's going to come down to the battle of the hum Rock Vs. Which is Humvees with missile defenders in them. Now Squawk better sell this. Because that would be quite damaging. He might not see this. At the same time we have quite a bit of action going on from the Chinooks in the middle. Trying to find out a... A, a safe supply or oh and he captured it that's that's going to be quite devastating is now flamer can build and have possibly two supplies going up do have beds just finishing off the last bit of the the base that squawk captured 
But Squawk making a move here. Onto the wall factory. Very nice. He's found a gap in a hole. Beds has been too focused on recapturing his own base back. And Squawk taking full advantage of that and pushing that uh, wall factory to be sold. Uh, we'll just change the camera angle here, get a bit closer because these rock fees are going to be the main focus as we come through to the middle of the match. Now, whoever gets strategy center up first and can ha hold on to it is going to be the winner, I think, on this. Squawk still does not have a second supply, so that is going to be quite devastating. And if he loses this oil, he's in lots of trouble, which he will. It's going to go down. Squawk running really out of options here. He does have a barracks here. But I don't know if if Vets, yeah, Vets can clearly see that. So he, he's just left that there. I don't even think there's a snow. Oh, there, there he goes. He's just going to make sure he cleans it up. So Vets retreating now, getting chased away by some other Humvees. And uh, that's going to be interesting because whoever wins this engagement could be the decider of the match because... Beds has been able to get a couple more extra Humpies with some Rockies in it, but it's going to have to be a very cautious play of however they engage this. Squawk putting lots of pressure on here, not worried at all. It's going in, balls blazing. He's trying to put some pressure. Oh, okay. An early sell there from from Vets. That was a very quick to sell. Probably not necessary. Oh, huge hit there. Vets ended up winning that. And Squawk lost all his Humvees. But he did put enough pressure on to make Veds panic and sell his supply center. So that's another $2,000 that Veds will have to uh, spend. But again, he will have a lot more money. He has an oil, basically two supplies. Squawk doing the three Chinook strat where you have uh, two on one and one on one supply. Does help your economy stay pretty stable but you really do need that second supply to at least match what's happening on Vets' side because he is going to be winning on the economy side now Vets is coming in for a little bit of a tit for tat he's going to try snipe this dozer if he can but uh, he's been chased away by squawk who is very cautiously guarding his base against any intruder because he will have to be very mindful that he cannot lose anything more now, dozer hunting would be very helpful here. If someone could drop and take out one of the dozers, it would definitely put a solid stint in that player's options. Nice little hummy battle going on here. Bed's opting to put some troops into the buildings just to really help solidify that battle but again a ranger will clear this out but uh, Vets will snipe that. Very nicely done. But, oh, the flashbang did go off and he was able to clean up that little building. Now, there is an opportunity here for Squawk. He's been able to sort of break through. But he's going to get trapped. Oh, beautiful play by Veds coming down the flank here. And Squawk might not know what hit him. Oh, Squawk engaged that very badly. But he will take out two Humvees as well. But ultimately lose that. Yeah, oh, and at that same time, Vets, this has to be the game because there is very little option here for Squawk to climb back from this. Losing that Chinook is a devastating blow and I believe a strategy center or command center has come up from Vets. So it looks like the command center, which is probably the best idea because you really do need to get your dozer, future dozers secured. Now we have a airdrop coming in here. Nice. He was able to take out the wall factory and supply. That was a beautiful play by Squawk. Very kind of actually gives him a little bit of more leeway here and headroom to try claw back this, this uh, terrible situation he finds himself in. Next to no money. I think he might be building another Chinook. He realizes that he does need to try capitalize on the destruction of that wall factory. But again, look how much Squawk has. I mean, uh, Vets has. He's got five, five Rock Vs, Humvees with MDs and Rangers and Snipers in them. So that is going to be a very hard task. Squawk trying to push this back. 
at least take out the barracks, but he might not have an opportunity. He needs to retreat ASAP. Or oh, he's going to lose one Humvee, possibly two there. That's going to leave him with next to nothing. He's going to have to rely on snipers. Uh, well, actually, he can't even really rely on anything. He has to go with Humvees, with MDs, and, and it looks like he has nothing left. It looks like an airstrike came in and took down his war factory, <laughs> leaving him in an absolutely horrid position here. And I think this game is going to go to Vets by the looks of it. We uh, can see here... Yeah, it's going to be clean-up duty. I don't see how Squawk could come back from this unless there is some miracle. Vets is just going to clean this up, take out everything. Waiting for the surrender. He's still hunting. Not going to go for the command center. Okay, yes, he's going to start it on the base now. Let's have a quick look at the map, and there is nothing left. What a game. So Vets takes the win in a USA versus USA. Very nicely done. And they're obviously just chatting, saying GG in the game. And uh, that will seal the deal. Unless Squawk, he doesn't have any money. The Vets just taunting him now. The Humvee's here. But there we go. That is going to be the game. Well played. To so two legends, absolute gods of the old school generals, traveling back in time. To see some first class gameplay here and it's excellent that we still have game replays for being able to store and hold all these replays from such a legendary game and that will seal the deal thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and i'll do another one soon peace